you know, one day I went, life is too short to fill in the blank, you know, worry, be anxious, uh, bite your fingernails, uh, sit in a chair and huddle, and, oh, you know, I mean, there's just so many things that life is too short for. And I think that living in the moment is one of those things that always sounds so attractive. Like, yes, of course, I want to live in the moment, but how do you really do that? You know, and Cindy, how do you live in the moment? Do you have a formula? Wait, I, you know, I, um, I want to live in the moment. I don't always live in the moment because a lot of times I live in the fear of the next moment. Yeah. And um, yeah. Isn't really it like called, to, uh, I think they call that uh, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah. Yeah. And I would really like to nip that in the bud. So if you have any tips. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, here, here's what I do. I think that it's all about practice, which is interesting because as a kid, you'd never think, oh, I'm going to practice happiness or yeah. hope or optimism. You're like, well, I'm going to practice jumping rope right. or, you know, hopscotch or something. But I think uh, the practice of being in the moment is about breathing. I feel like that, you know, I didn't have a very good day the other day. And when I got in the car, I, I wanted to burst into tears. Mm. And I thought, is this really going to be productive? Just <laughs> bursting into tears. I mean, it might clean out your sinuses and your tear ducts, but, and, um, and so I just started to take a deep breath and let it go, take a deep breath mm -hmm. and let it go. And I started to really calm down. And then I was able to look around me and think, oh, I live in Southern California. It's not too hot today. Oh, yeah. look, everyone's dressed in light summer clothing. You know, I was in the moment. I was aware of what was around me. And when I came home, and this is right up there with like, okay, how wacky are you? But I had been, uh, I'm on Instagram, mostly for, you know, kittens and uh, embroidery hacks and sewing things. But all these Tai Chi uh, videos keep coming through. And, you know, you and I, we tried Tai Chi one time to some place we were at. And I, I always found it really interesting and kind of rewarding. And one of the Tai Chi movements was this, you know, like when you were a little kid and it was just like, like windmill yourself yeah. around and go, I was like, and, and I only did it, you know, because I felt like an idiot, but also it was really fun. And I only did it for about 30 seconds. And when I was done, I went, I feel great. Yeah. And I did it again. I was like, ah, you know, just like when you were a little kid and you're pretending you were a monkey or something. And I went, oh, because this always goes back to, have you forgotten how to play? Yeah. You know, but in the moment I was healing myself the best way I knew how. Yeah. And in the moment I was having a good time. Yeah. You know, it's it that the whole concept of did we forget how to play? You know, you never once as a little kid worried about play you know am I going to be able to climb that tree what you know what's going to happen if that tree gets torn down in a storm you know you never think about that thing you go you climb the tree you sit in the tree until you don't want to be in the tree anymore and then you climb down and you're so completely there I, I climbed a lot of trees as a kid <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to climb any trees right now but I love that I love remembering that feeling that we had when we were kids, when we didn't worry about the future and we didn't, you know, angst, get ourselves in a sense of angst about the past. We just did what we wanted to do at the moment. Yeah. And, th and that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. You know, I just, you know, me, I'm one of those people who has like 150,000 different kinds of hobbies <laughs> and I, I live a creative life. I love to create things and, so when I do that, I'm completely in the moment. I'm like, this color looks good with this color and this. Yeah. And um, I, it's, I have not forgotten the sense of play. Yeah. And I think that in the willingness to accept that and to be silly, I know you're going to think of, just try this once. Just yeah. go, ah, just go like this. Lift your <laughs> arms up. Just, I'm curious. Just go like this. Whoa, uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, uh, uh. It does and just feel good to move yourself you know, like that. Yeah. And you go, it, you, you can't help but feel like, oh, oh, I feel looser. I feel <laughs> giddy. I feel happy. I'm in the moment. I don't know. I mean, do you guys have tips for being in the moment? Uh, really or like are you just rushing it. headlong? Yeah. yeah. Let us know. And we wouldn't uh, mind you know, seeing if, your videos of you all going like this. <laughs> and I know, I know it. Like, go ahead. Okay, do it alone first in front of the mirror. But just give it a shot. And it really is about your arms just flinging around. And it's like, oh, <laughs> you'll feel better. And if you don't, let us know. But okay. we're here. We're here all the time. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to us. That's Scottish for subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and come and say hello and uh let us know you know how it feels to fling your arms around and be in the moment be in the moment i be in the